This is Gerald Johan van der Waals and the educational channel that is in support of a theory that has been explained in sounding form which finds itself as a separate book of in the development of the word which explains the theory how I come to it and the application of the word gives you some extras. What is this theory about and why this supportive video series? There is a um, reason why letters are chosen in words and the letter combinations in words they do have a meaning there is a system behind it, a natural system which you can discover, a system which I also called methodical synesthesia simply because what you need for it to understand it is, the is a development of the senses of, uh, of, of uh, using your visualization, your pattern recognition, your uh, uh, ability, all these abilities to form something, to combine forms, to uh, uh, recognize patterns visually while you only hear them, while you only associate them with letters, so that all these things together form a logic of their own and that you can start to play with it. It will take a while, but in a way we all deal with the underlying method which exists only because nature, it exists in nature, it follows certain natural laws. These natural laws are described there, but in these videos I will emphasize on the intuitive sensing, the letter combinations as forms, and with it also a, a knowledge and acknowledgement of what is associated with each, these each of these letters separately and how they combine uh, as letters, how you do that. And these videos are the demonstrations how to do so. In this video I will emphasize completely on words with the combinations of the letters st S and T or T and S, just to, uh, to show the difference. Which words shall, shall I pick out? Let's recognize the sounding form formations and its meaningful associations, how they are formed and how they are formed by logic and by logical order and how we can recognize this logical order and think with it. And it will be easy to use words that are lying together are a bit the same, with just a few letters difference. You can see what it does, why these different letters have a different influence and make up then a different meaning in the end. I will use some words that start with the S and the T will end with the S and the T and just to make the example of how it uh, is different with a different order I'll use a few, a few letters with T and S in the end. I don't know much letters, uh, words that uh, start with T S uh, except of the C C fly maybe but uh, I will not uh, use that one. So I will use stop, stone, stock and stock all with S T O in the beginning makes it easy. I will f keep myself mostly within that range and you can see the differences and then with the up, up, uh, on the, end, the ST at the end, post, best, best, boost and then as a comparison bots and pots. All of the next words have the same starting point S, T and O. Or, in other words, when you learn how to interpret it, it is like it seeks the effect in a moment of distinction in an environment. 
all of them will have this starting point. Stop is the first word and the P or the pressed out or pressed in the environment uh, effect that I want to create in the next step fits most easily in this form. It's pressed in it and there we have it. There we have the stop and does this stop, which fits with all the meanings of what it is expressing, will it be uh, easy to recognize all of the associations of the word stop already? Maybe. Let's take them. I have here some stops of uh, bottles. I have some stop signs. Uh, stop is uh, used in Dutch, it's used in English. This word has different meanings, but uh, it is very, a very easy expression that I have here. Let's just say that uh, if you think that maybe this is a bit too easy to get to this, okay, let's analyze a little bit what happens in the last part where all of the expressions are leading to it and ending it. Just a very quick uh, overview uh, with a little bit more detail so that you can understand what really is going on here in this uh, drawing. You have the S, uh, the cause and effect of reactions. You have the moment of distinction that uh, has led from the cause and effect of reactions. So that means you go towards a certain moment where it expects a reaction from you. This reaction is also immediately the P. The P is the reaction from the process, which tries to stay within the context or environment as it is, and it demands a reaction. That's more or less what you can say, say for sure. The extra thing that you also uh, that it says like keep it within the environment is an interpretation. Uh, remain in the environment is an interpretation, but it is something that is demanding a reaction and that it falls back on this environment is qu quite logic to do so. Is it sure that it's that is the thing that is a uh, uh, demanded from you? No, it isn't. But in a way, uh, you can compare it to how the stop sign is working. So let's say the S, the cause and reactions, that's your car driving towards a certain moment, the T, okay, I have this short moment, I have to decide something in the environment, within the environment, uh, maybe I have to stay in the environment. So, and that is the op option of oppression to keep you into these limits, within these limits of the moment. On this moment, there's something is demanded from you. What it is, is it really a stop? Is it really something that closes off the, all the possibilities? I don't know for sure, but it surely fits well. Maybe you can uh, design it better and then come to it. To anyhow, we are already sure, we already discovered, and we already know what we, are, we must discover, so I keep it as it is. Okay, thanks. Stone has the same starting point, but the O is longer, and so we will have it larger. We already expressed the O like this. It is part of a process. In the environment it is part of a process and we going to lead to one moment to take out and this taken out moment will be inserted with uh, something with a with a content as the end says and makes its conclusion so this is just abstract what i said but what do we have here we have then the effect derived into one functional moment of distinction, the T, discovered in its environment, O, processed in it as a content, and in this content there will be a noticeable effect 
of this uh, of it, uh, and y y you can clearly almost see and almost recognize the M in there. It is the mass which is growing, the effect which is growing, the effect which will be visible from the process in the end. The process will have processed more effect, more effect in the content within it. So it is somewhere in within it, it noticed more effect or let's say more heaviness. So the stone as a word actually refers to something which is, is more heavy. We also say like this guy is not so many kilos but he's so uh, so much stone we some say, sometimes say. It's the heaviness, it's the mass, it's the noticeable effect there and with the E which you don't pronounce, it also is a reference to to yeah to the expansion that you notice in there, an expansion which you don't have to see outwardly, but it's there. So it is the, the expansion of much more gravity in the content there. And the funny thing is, yeah, like the more you put into the process, the heavier it will be is also a word that reminds us of the word stoned. It's also there. The more effect you put into the process, the S, and the further it is processed, you will put also more weight in it. It will go, it will be heavier also. It will weigh on you. That's more or less the stone effect. Stock ends with a different letter. Here the effect or S will be derived to one functional moment of distinction or T, t discovered in its environment of O, and this will be part of an organized whole, the C, which is considered as something that you can separate as K, because C and K are just one letter, so this is part of a process that you want to uh, to break open and keep part of the process with more effect that you want to have to come out of it because it's about the effect. The S and is about the effect. We are starting with the effect. So we will also, when we separate things, we will try to keep this e effect or m have more distinction in this e e effect. Uh, so in this process we will pick out elements of enlargements, let's say, to best effect. This is the stock or the stock market or the stock a stock that we keep. keep. This, this is as uh, to give us as much distinction between the elements as possible that we can also, uh, yeah, that we also have the effect that we are trying to achieve in it. The effect of order, the effect of expansion, it can be all the, these kinds of things, but it will have an effect in the environment where we are uh, expressing it. Let us simply compare this with the word stock that has only a K. This word stock is used in Dutch and we know also the English translation as stick. And the strangest thing is that we use the word stock not in the same way as we use the word stick in English. The stick, because it has the E in it, it will have the association of trying to insert something uh, uh, in it or in interpret it. It is also not environment based. It is just meant to make something fit. It will have to stick in it. It has to stuck with us, uh, and so on. Stock is something else. It's the uh, it's something that is related with the environment. So where and what do we do in this environment? The effect, as the S, is derived to just one functional moment of distinction, as the T, just like the other words, and it is discovered in the environment, just like the other words. But here it will get a function in this environment to make K separation or really 
harsh distinction. This is a kind of distinction which is really like breaking the rules, breaking uh, the, the general rules. It has to, do, uh, to break what we have and do something completely different. That's the kind of break that you have to add. It can also break away from the environment. You have, you, it's like just stick, you take it out of the environment, throw it away and the dog will take it. That's one of the things you can do with it. We also have an expression of uh, using the stick is something is like you use it to punish someone. Uh, we want uh, I want to find something that I can use against you. That's what uh, what is uh, how it is used. It is used as a weapon to break you from the environment so that I could could even uh, yeah be uh, yeah just to pun punish someone. It's just like it it wants to break apart the the steady environment as it as it is or break from the environment the stick can also be used uh, as, as a walking stick of course as well uh, that is within the environment it, uh, that is less uh, uh, fitting as you would say but that's what we don't uh, name in Dutch uh, as a stock simply because stock we associate really in a different way and that's what is already uh, necessary to realize a word you cannot translate exactly in another language it will have other associations and uh, it is very clear with stick or with stock that stock has associations always in the environment and with a kind of breaking something in the environment or breaking away from the environment. All the associations will, will be uh, there. With stick, it's, it's different. It will stick you with you in a different way. With S and T at the end, it will create a completely different effect. It will also focus on the effect something will have and we will uh, lead to a last moment of distinction where we will try to focus upon mostly with post we have uh, this simple drawing that explains it as the P the O the S and the T with a starting point and an end point, with, like always, with the S which seeks the effect of cause and effect. So the P is the pro pressed out or produced, simply produced. So something is produced in O, the environment, and something uh, that uh, comes out of the pro process creates a certain effect. Does it already explain what is uh, written here in these letter combinations? Not yet, because what is this effect? And this is another lesson that I add here, is you have the letter combinations. You can learn to see how they hang together, how there's a logic behind it. But that's the question mark. The answer lies in the last letter. The last letter has to have everything in the conclusion of the previous letter combinations and once you succeed in discovering this as well you have the unique moment that leads you to the last letter from the whole logical system that you can discover via visualization and understanding up until the last letter and it's actually not that difficult as you can see it's a very easy expression you still have the p pressing you still have the o environment and you still have the t or uh, yeah a moment of distinction and it's all in this last moment as it was in the cause and effect as well so you can follow the process here in the environment with cause and effect. So what is the effect and in the end? That which was pushed out of the process into the environment and that uh, is actually because of the cause and effect uh, also moving 
in the environment where it will get a function after this move. That's what we can recognize also here. So, conclusion, the post is, uh, you can uh, associate it here in the two different uh, meanings of the word that I, I know. You have the post from the post office. So there also something is moved from one place to another and the end result is a thing that uh, counts. That's where the, the goal is from the post, uh, from the posting as well. When you have a post as uh, as a profession uh, in a, your profession or as a person, you also move your position. That's what you have in post. It's the same thing. It's the same kind of thing. What's different with the word pest? Just one letter instead of O. We have here E. Again, this is the same kind of thing, but not with O or environment. We have it here with A. A can be just movement itself, the, the change, the, 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 the extensions. It can be all kinds of things. It's, it's, it could be energy as well, but it is not really defined what's in there. So, but it is guiding the process itself. So what is going on here? Something is pushed here out of the process, developed as an energy, as an enlargement, and this energy moves from cause to effect in a very distinctive way. So in a way you can say pest is simply the enlargement the, of this E energy this is also enlarging, it's pressing itself into the situation and you don't even know where it's going to. There is a significant effective cause and effect, that's for sure. And it's a pain in the ass, that pest. Uh, it's because it has no direction ex except of going larger and being noticeable as an effect and you don't control it because it has no vast environment in it, it just has no control over it. Different it is with the word best, best with B, is the enlargement from within, so that will be more controllable. Best will also expand in all directions, also in its cause and effect, as you can see here, but it's also a form of progress because it, it starts from within. So how do we read this word? What is evolving? The E. Out of progression and expansion, the B. Will have its effect, the S. In its optimal and at its best extended form of functionality and distinction, or T. We go over to boost, we have the B, the O, which as an O will extend itself in different areas, different uh, orientations, multiplying as you can, as, as you can see. As O, you can have the A here as the extensions expressed in there as well. But a boost is written with O, it doesn't matter. But anyhow, there will be an extension that is possible to realize here. And the extension will have its best effect as boost. Mm -hmm. But as boost, it will be at the moment, at just one moment, you will have all of this coming together. So how do we need to read this? The functional result, the T, in just one moment, is the result of a stimulation, or the B, from a process, or the U, that results in the S, and further expands itself, like B, stimulated by B, in that functional or distinctional moment of T. So that just in one moment, the boost is noticeable. 
This will lead us to the last couple of letters where the S and T are in a different order. Of course, the order will be different, but also the interpretation will be different with bots or pots. There, the control of the T of the moment that you get there is not the most important, but it starts from there and gets its effect from there with the S. So the S is much more important. The effect is much more. What you create with it, it's much more important than than the moment where you where you're in control. Here, the moment in control is not the most important thing. Because of the B, there's also an expanding cause and effect. And the effect will be in the T, the moment that it will have a multiplying effect in uh, uh, from the environment, uh, sensed from the environment. Bots, the first uh, association I have with bots is the Dutch word, which means collision. So here it's from one moment, you have the optimal feedback. It's, it is a, there's a feedback in all directions, uh, as you can see. It is spreading, they're spreading something. The multiplying effect is there in from the environment. And you have other meanings of bots as well. You have the not just the collision, you also have the bones, the bots which is, are just piling up, also uncontrolled. The computer bots, which are also spreading and also uncontrolled in the same way. This is more or less the, what you have. The S will get you to all the directions, but the T, which is on the control, is minor of importance. As a last word, we have bots of the P with the O within the P, so R in the P fits the O or the environment. What is POTS? We have a couple of words. We have the Dutch word POTS, which is a stocking cap in this form most of the time it's expressed, or just a multiple POTS. So if you express it just in one more form, a little bit uh, together, you can recognize the stocking cap. And if you, if I start to express the, the where the in the environment that you have the pressed out, pressed in kind of thing, you will almost have it also with uh, a pressed in, pressed out thing that is uh, not uh, completely controllable. It is a, pr a pressing in. It just with an effect of its own. Pots. I don't have to say much more. I hope you enjoyed this. It was just a very quick uh, brief overview of some words with st and t. Um, you can learn the background of it, learn it as good as possible uh, from, in, from the theory in the development of the word, but um, practice of um, combining this and inform it into a logic and learn to use it as a logic, it will take a while. But that's why it is important also to check the theory and um, yeah, learn more or less the background, how you associate it so that you have the right picking order and see how the order of uh, forms uh, is used and should be used so that you don't make any mistakes in associations because it's not just intuitively there's a rational background there as well anyhow thanks for watching this was Gerald Van Der Was uh, there's a website too subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want more instructions and demonstrations thanks bye